Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the camera review of Vivo T2 5G. This one comes with a dual camera setup on the rear with a 64 megapixel primary camera followed by a 2 megapixel camera for taking portrait shots. For selfies, we get a 16 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture. Now this is how the camera user interface looks like. It is pretty similar to other phones in the same brand. Now these are some sample shots. First I'll start off with the selfies. Colors are a bit faded but they do look nice. Skin tones look good. There is some post processing going on but overall it looks nice. Dynamic range and exposure control are decent. Now these are some portrait selfies. Edge detection is pretty good. Color reproduction and skin tones look pretty good. Now these are some selfies taken in low lighting conditions. Colors look decent but they are a bit faded. As these selfies are taken in low lighting conditions, they're not too sharp and you can find greens, but that's to be expected. Now these are some selfies taken with the night mode. Selfies with night mode look good, images are sharper and brighter. Now this is a sample footage from the front facing camera. Footage is a bit shaky, there is no stabilization, but if you just don't move around and stick to a single place, you can get a stable footage. With that said, color reproduction and the sharpness all look pretty good. So guys, this is a sample footage recorded using the front facing camera of Vivo T2. And the current resolution is 1080p resolution at 30fps, audio is from the phone itself. So check out the noise cancellation and stabilization offered by the phone. With that said, I'll be just walking around. Next, we also have the dual video mode where we can record video with both the front and rear cameras at the same time. And this is a sample footage. We have the split screen style where the footage from the front and rear cameras are displayed in a split screen style. Next, we also have the pop-up style where footage is like in a pop-up window. It can be in a circular window or a rectangular window. And this is a sample footage. Now these are some sample shots from the rear camera. These pictures have decent exposure control and dynamic range. Colors are a bit faded but they do look nice. As for the color temperature, it is slightly to the cooler side. Now these are some portrait shots. Edge detection is pretty good. Dynamic range and exposure control are decent. Sharpness is also pretty good. Color reproduction is good and the colors look pretty close to reality. Now even though this phone has a dedicated 64 megapixel camera, whenever you take a picture in the auto mode, that picture is automatically compressed using pixel binning. So for some reason, if you want to take a bigger 64 megapixel picture, you can use this dedicated 64 MP mode. Pictures taken in this mode are usually bigger in size, have a lot more resolution and also carry a lot more details. These are some sample shots. Now these are some pictures taken in low lighting conditions. In low lighting conditions, this phone does a pretty decent job. Images are slightly on the softer side, that's to be expected, but the color reproduction and the sharpness looks pretty decent. As for the colors, they are slightly to the cooler side. In complete darkness, if you take pictures with a flash, they look much better. Colors are pretty accurate, close to reality, and the sharpness is also pretty good. Now these are some pictures taken in low lighting conditions with the night mode. Overall images look much brighter than before, but they are still on the softer side. As for images taken in indoor lighting conditions, night mode makes the pictures look much more brighter. Now for the video department, this is a sample footage recorded in 1080p resolution at 30fps. This one offers stabilization and it looks pretty good. Exposure control and dynamic range are decent. Color reproduction is pretty good and the colors are close to accurate colors. So guys, what do you think about the camera performance of this phone? Do let me know by commenting below this video. With that said, this is Nikhil signing off. See you in my next video.